Now, your two works for you weather, sponsored by Executive Homes. Man, I have a wonderful weekend on tap just for you. We're starting off with a little bit of fog that is breaking apart, which is good news. And now we're smooth sailing for your Saturday. Here's a live look right now. You can see plenty of sun is in store, but I do want to point out some low lying areas of fog. You can see a little bit of a haze behind me. And so we're going to keep that around just for the next half hour tops, but that's about it. Uh, that was the only issue this morning. Now we're seeing tens around, which meaning good to go. Plenty of sun. Hopefully this isn't blinding you right now. Let's go ahead and talk about these temperatures and cover some of that up. 44. Good morning, Tulsa. East winds right around three miles per hour. Dew points are in those 40s as well. And with that saturated air mass, we were seeing those areas of fog again breaking apart as we head into the remainder of the morning. 46 down in McAllister, 37 over in Poto. Seen more 40 temps on here rather than 30s that we started off with this morning. We are at 34 here for Tulsa. Already a nice jump with those numbers. We we're seeing that fog early on breaking apart. Lots of sun. Get out there. I expect a lot of people out and about enjoying this day. Whether you want to get out, maybe do a little yard work, maybe do a little early spring cleaning involved, maybe take the dog for a nice walk, head over to the gathering place. Temperatures are headed to those 60s. How about 64 here for Tulsa? We'll keep those south winds very pleasant. So this is going to be an excellent day to get out and get some stuff done. 5 to 10 miles per hour. Normal for this time of the year is around 59. Keep in mind, if you're going to be out and about, you start sneezing, getting those watery eyes, maybe some itchy eyes. It's all thanks to cedar pollen for uh, the area. We're keeping that on the higher end. So cedar's main, the main concern. Uh, this is all by the Allergy Clinic of Tulsa. We do have a little bit of mold, but not um, quite as much as a concern just yet. We're keeping 58 this evening. If you have plans tonight, keep that jacket handy. Maybe you want to eat out on the patio. I'm also going to highly recommend if you want to do some grilling, maybe even a little bonfire tonight. It's not going to be a bad night. Mainly I say that because of those calm winds. 38 for your overnight low in Old Mulkey, 37 over in Tahlequah, 38 up in Coffeeville. So we'll stay in those mid to upper 30s, so a little bit better than what we had early this morning. So temperatures will be a little bit better. Now winds will start to pick up for tomorrow, and that's going to pick up these temperatures even warmer. Seeing those upper 60s, we are staying dry. Seasonal average again right around 59 degrees. We'll keep mostly sunny skies up until Monday. Tuesday, we'll get a few more clouds building in, and by Wednesday, our next round of showers and a few thunderstorms will be arriving. Now this is going to be a, a, a colder air mass that we'll be driving in. And so with that warmer air mass and that colder air mass, we're really going to keep a close watch for the potential for some stronger storms to develop. We're still a couple days away, so all eyes on this upcoming system. But for now, uh, we're talking about what we're seeing. Here we go Wednesday into Wednesday evening into Thursday. We'll get some showers. South winds will still be in play, but all of a sudden those north winds are going to try to be knocking on our door. And with those air masses meeting, that instability will be there. So the potential for a stronger storm likely into Thursday and Friday. I also want to point out, you can see a little blue going on well off to the north. That's that cold front it's trying to sag into our area, bringing in that severe weather potential. So again, all eyes on the end of the week. But hey, pleasant conditions, not only for today, but into tomorrow. Winds will really start to pick up Monday into Tuesday ahead of that system. And by Wednesday, we'll keep those south winds gusting about 35 to 40 miles per hour. And that's going to push those temperatures into those 70s with the potential for a stronger storm to develop and a drop in those temperatures as we look towards the weekend next week. Brady. Any